Hey, what's up? It's Sim Stuck. This is Algebra 2 number 4, and we're doing absolute value inequality. So let's get started. Um, I need some examples, actually, so be right back. Alright, I'm back, and I have examples. The first thing before we tackle inequalities, I just want to go over just a simple equality, an absolute value equality, just so we get the concept of what absolute value even is. So let's say we have an absolute value of 7 minus x plus 2 is equal to 12. Before we do anything, we need to get anything not in the absolute value over to that uh, right hand side where the absolute value signs aren't so that we can actually do something here. So in this case we have to move this positive 2 over to the right hand side. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract both sides by 2 and rewrite this equation as the absolute value of 7 minus x is equal to 10. Now what we do is we set two equations up. Um, 7 minus x is equal to negative 10 and 7 minus x is equal to positive 10. Now you might be asking why we do this. It's because the absolute value of 7 minus x could be negative 10 or positive 10. Why? Because the absolute value of negative 10 is equal to 10 and the absolute value of 10, positive 10, is also equal to 10 because this we're talking about distance from 0. Negative 10 is the distance of negative 10 to 0 is 10 units and the same for positive 10. And that's why we have to set up two equations for both negative 10 and positive 10. So we're just going to solve these equations really quick here. So first we do negative 7 on both sides. We get negative x is equal to negative 17. That means x would be equal to positive 17 on this side. And here we get negative x is equal to 3, which means that x would equal negative 3. If my calculations are correct, that means that the solution to this one would be x is equal to 17 or negative 3. And we could plug these values back into the original equation over here, and we would hopefully get um, both 12. Now, before we get into tackling inequalities, I want to draw a number line over here. And we are going to construct the most basic absolute value inequality and solve these two. First, we're going to solve the absolute value of x is greater than 9. And then we're going to solve the absolute value of x is less than 9. And based on what we come up from solving these, we are going to create some rules here. And uh, we're going to use those rules for the rest of um, our Algebra 2 solving um, days, I guess. So first, let's try the absolute value of x is greater than 9. So first off, we're going to do the absolute value of x is greater than 9. Now, how would one go about that? Um, I was interrupted for a bit, so I made this uh, 0, 9, and negative 9 prehand, but you get what I just did, right? I drew a 0, and I drew 9, and a negative 9, and I want to ask you, what does absolute value mean? It's the distance away from 0. And right now, it is saying that x, the distance away from 0 from x is greater than 9. Based on your intuition, what might that mean? I'll give you a second, and I'll give you the answer in a second. Alright, we're back. And so, x, the absolute value from 0, is greater than 9. That means the distance from 0 has to be greater than 9. So here's 9 here. And I'll draw it in an open circle because we're not doing exactly 9 units from 0. It's greater than 9. If it's greater than 9 from 0, if we're going in the right-hand side direction, we're graphing this right here, right? We're graphing all that because all of this business is greater than 9 units from 0 which is what absolute value is. And same here in the negative direction. We're graphing all of this because it's greater than 9 units from 0. So how do we put that 
in numerical equation format. That is, x is less than negative 9, and x is greater than positive 9. Now let's try and make a rule out of what we just did here. If x is greater than some number, some number, and we'll just call that k, if the absolute value of x is greater than some number k, then we have our results here. x is le okay, hold on, let me make a better x. Then x is uh, less than negative k, and x is greater than positive k. And that is going to be our rule, and memorizing this rule would help. And it's not even that much to memorize. It's kind of common sense, so if you ever forget it, you could always just do the same thing I just did here. It's pretty simple, and you can figure it out on yourself on the side or something. So now let's do the absolute value of x is less than 9. Now we'll do this in blue. It's the same concept. The distance from 0 is now less than 9. So what might that be? It's just going to be all of this stuff in the middle right here because all of this blue shaded stuff is in fact less than 9 units from 0 and in equation format that would be negative 9 is less than x is less than positive 9 and if we're going to make a rule about that that would be if the absolute value of x is less than k then negative k is less than x is less than k. That would be our solution. And these two, it would help if you guys uh, kept this in mind. And now that we've basically figured out how absolute value inequalities work, now we're actually going to try something um, a bit challenging here. And all we're going to use is our rules. The intuition and the graphical format we've already done right here. So I'm just going to use the rules now, if that's OK with you. So let's try this one. The absolute value of 6 minus 3b. Actually, this is a bad one, but I'll get to this last. Uh, let's try. The absolute value of x minus 3 is less than 4. How would we do that? And hold on. Let me just move this a bit farther up here. Yep, we're good. The absolute value of x minus 3 is less than 4. Remember what we said. If it's, it's less than k, then it's going to be negative k is less than x is less than positive k. And that's common sense because the distance from 0 has to be less than 4. Or in this case, it has to be less, um, less than 4 units away from 3. But um, we'll get to that later. So following this rule, if we just substitute um, x and k in for this, we just get negative 4 is less than x minus 3 is less than positive 4. And now we know how to do these, right? Just add 3, and we add 3 on both the left side and the right side. So we get negative 1 is less than x is less than 7. And lo and behold, that is our answer. That's pretty simple, right? Now we'll get into... Um, now, uh, we won't do a greater than, because I think you guys would get that too. And if you don't get it, you can just rewind and... Yeah, so let's do an interesting case now. A case. The absolute value of 6 minus 3b plus 4 is equal to 3. Well, before we... Uh, not equals to 3. We're doing less than 3. Sorry. So now, same with the qualities. Before we get to do anything, the um, absolute value has to be alone on one side, so we'll just subtract 4, subtract 4, and we end up with the absolute value of 6 minus 3b is less than negative 1. I'll tell you straight up that there is no answer to this. Why? 
Again, think critically about what absolute value means, a distance away from zero. And it's telling us here that this value, the absolute value of this thing, this value, the absolute value of that, is negative. It's less than negative one. How can that be possible? It's not. And that's why this is undefined. Because if we're talking about absolute values, if we're talking about absolute values that are less than zero, then we're talking about it's not possible because you can't have a negative distance away from zero. And so this is undefined. And this is a special case. And I want you to watch out for those. It's not part of the real domain, I should say. So I guess this is it for absolute value inequalities. Um, again, as a refresher, I'll do it in blue too. If the absolute value of something is greater than k, then it's going to be x is less than negative k and x is greater than positive k. If x is less than k, then it's going to be negative k is less than x is less than positive k. And those are your rules. And it's kind of common sense, too. All you have to do is think about that number line and think about distance away from zero. And you guys should be fine. Thanks for watching.